All right, what's going on, everybody? So I'm going to show you guys where I'm at, and I'm going to tell you guys exactly uh, what happened during on the day here. So I finally got my my withdrawal. So I'm back to where I'm starting right now, using small lots. Starting fresh, like I said, I think I was, I was withdrawing 500. So plus they took out the credit too. They took out the matching bonus that I put in. So I'm just back to where I'm starting right now. New week, fresh new week. It's Monday. Um, it's it's been a rough day. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I took some some heavy hits and then finally gained some momentum back. And uh, <clears throat> the biggest one is probably where USD JPY fluctuated so much from 108, uh, 1089 back to 1087 back to 1089, back to 1087, so, so it's a 200 point difference, but it ranged so much, and then gold was just ranging from 1290, 1292, 1290, 1292, and, and right now, right now, it's finally dropping back to 1289, and USDJPY, you know, gained some momentum after going down, all the way down back to 1086, and right now it's it's trading where it where where it left off yesterday at 109.22 and so <clears throat> i mean it, it's I, i'm going small tonight i'm not doing anything crazy like i said i'm just i'm starting fresh you know the the withdrawal already happened so you get you can't i just can't be going too crazy on a day where there's not much going and there's still you know uh, tensions between North Korea, South Korea. Uh, Trump is already acting the war against Afghanistan right now, and so <clears throat> a lot of political issues are going on as as well with the Trump administration, and so you don't know what to anticipate, especially for a week like this. And so when you have a week like this, you're gonna expect <clears throat> anything to happen. And they can spike up, and they can spike down, and it's just a it, it, to me. I just see nothing but a huge mid range of price actions, where there's just a small gap just to catch, you know. It, it just it just goes back to the scalp mode, and I could have scalp scale back and forth off the 15 minute chart if I wanted to or the 5 minute chart if I wanted to and I, it's been really tough trying to find a, a position to swing and so I mean you could have swing Sunday night after gold hit 1281 and went all the way back up to 1293 could have catch a 12 bucks right there and you could have sold USDJPY one one hundred nine point two all the way down to one hundred eight six in the morning. You could have done that, but <clears throat> since USDJPY didn't break past one hundred eight point six, and right now it's starting to gain momentum. I mean, I'll show you guys. I mean, I was only looking at seven dollars, and then it doubled already. Now it's at sixteen, seventeen. So things are starting to pick up right now for USD JPY and colds at back at twelve eighty eight. And so <clears throat> it, it it's so hard to uh, to find a you know that that mid range price value and and for something like this, you know, it, it's Monday night not much going on there's still a lot of stuff that's being talked about for the upcoming days wednesday thursday and friday big day is friday you got jackson hole you got um one strong economic data for the u.s that's probably by far probably the only strongest um red news for the economic data for u.s and then i mean but wednesday will, will start to kick off and so, like I said, Wednesdays and Thursdays are, are my most profitable days, all the all the week, all the all the all the, all the days of trading. 
And so, <clears throat> and so, it like like I'm going back to yesterday and today. It, it's been really tough to make the decision to either choose to scalp or choose to swing. And the reason why I don't like the scalp because you're constantly looking at different time frames to figure out when you want to select a different. Um, or if it's not gonna hit this price, if it's not gonna hit this value, then you're gonna end up reversing the trade. And so you can follow the RSI and MACD too as you if you want. But usually usually I just go right after the second candle. And so it's, it's been it's been a pretty interesting day and it's been ranging quite a bit and I mean I mean, gold can just, gold's dropping down right now, and then it could automatically just pick right back up and go back to 1290, 91, or 1293. Just like um, what it did this morning, it dropped back quite a bit, back to like 1289, and then they just immediately picked up and uptrend back to 1292. And so. <clears throat> But good news is USDJPY is picking up its feet back up to 109.2, 109.2, and so we'll see how much, um, how much momentum it has, and I mean we'll see if the bull is pushing even higher. <clears throat> I mean if, if it breaks, if it breaks enough, you know, I would say if it breaks past 109.4. Or 109.5, then open doors for to hit at least 110. So it, it, it is such a tough decision to to look at look at these price price actions because it's really hard to anticipate. It's really hard to make that prediction or or you assume too much on what might happen. And that's why I said I'm just keeping these trades small because if you look, I was up like seventeen, eighteen dollars, and now it's back down to ten dollars. And look, USDJPY is dropping back. Gold is trying to pick up its feet back up again, and so, <clears throat> so it, it, so <clears throat> when you have a small account, you don't want to go all out on one day and expect that one day to make big bucks for you because that one day could shoot you down. And so you wanna you wanna be able to spot those reversals right away, and check on the five minute chart, fifteen minute chart, and to see how much um, how much of a downtrend or, or an uptrend it is, along with RSI being above seventy or RSI being below thirty, and if it's below that much or if it's up that much and MACD's already with it then obviously it can only go you know so much further and so it's just like climbing up a mountain whatever you order whenever you go up you gotta come down whenever you go down you gotta come back up and so it's basic simple principles here and so i'm still sitting at 10 bucks i mean gold's trying to rally back up right now UCJPY hit 109.2, but now it's going back to 109.1, and so, and so I don't really expect much going on until London sessions. Now London sessions last night, gold rallied up and UCJPY dropped, and so I mean that could. This is almost like the same setup for it was last night. Using JPY climbed up and then bam shot itself back down around midnight. That's that's the way I see it. But like I said, I mean it, it it's been it's been building its uh you know momentum of from where it was at this morning at one oh eight point six and it's at one oh 10, well, it was well, it was at one hundred nine point two, and so uh, you're talking about six hundred points. If you were to buy it at the lowest, at one hundred nine or one hundred eight point six, and then 
and it went all the way up to 109.2, you know, at 600 points. And so, if you put 10, 10 cents, you know, that's, that's already $60. And so, now 10 cents on, on, on a, on a 60 cent difference for gold is different. And so, for every dollar the gold shifts, if you say, let's just say gold drop two bucks and you put 10 cents on a sell, it's $200. It's, it's a total game changer. And so gold pays a lot more. <clears throat> and so for every penny that gold shifts down, it's a lot of money. Versus um, versus when if, if versus if you're trading USDJPY. <clears throat> and so it, it's a lot of money in gold, but then you can lose a lot of money in gold as well. And that's why the spreads are higher. And when you when you bet a high a high lot on gold, your margins decrease so much. They go down so much because because they know that you can only cover so much for for the for the uh, lot that you're betting off for gold. So I can do you know, triple four times the more bets lots on USDJPY because the spreads are at one one to two versus gold here on FinPro. The spreads are eighteen to twenty five, and so <clears throat> I think the lowest I've seen for gold for FinPro is sixteen fifteen somewhere around there. But that's when it's like really really volatile, and so. <clears throat> It's really, like I said, it's really hard to pick a trend and it's really hard to swing on. It's just been, like I said, it's been a rough day, to be honest, to to start fresh after the withdrawal and you got to figure out what you want to anticipate for the week. And like I said, I want to I wanna shoot for a thousand a week. If I don't get that, that's fine. You know, you I can't be trying to be too picky of saying, "Oh, I gotta get it, I gotta get it, I gotta get this," and then I end up end up sacrificing the whole account because because I missed out on a couple hundred dollars. And so there is for days like this, you have to know when to choose your battles, when to pick your positions, and what time frames you want to want to trade on. You know, I've been I've been staring at this for almost all, since I got the whole week up. I've been staring at this for almost the whole day, and nothing's really much going on. And so, <clears throat> I haven't seen much going on. I mean, if it was going on, I'd be I'd be making another video and saying, "Hey, this is the uptrend. This is the downtrend that I see." I haven't really seen much going on. It has been. I mean, this has been the same thing that I, that I seen from yesterday until London sessions kick in and then we'll see from there and so <clears throat> I mean I, I don't that's all I got I mean it's been it's just been a tough battle and like I said you just gotta know when to take your losses you don't just want to swing a position forever hoping that it'll go your way that and then you end up losing the whole account within a matter of minutes or seconds or the next hour or two and you your margins can only cover so much, so you just gotta know when to take your losses and, and when when to when to take profit, especially for days like this. And so, and so I mean, this that's that's all I got for you guys. And I appreciate you guys subscribing, and I appreciate you guys following me, and I appreciate you guys watching my videos. And I hope you guys learn a lot from these videos, and that today is just. Not really a great day of trading, to be honest. I'm just being honest today. And so, so I mean, like I said, I don't expect anything to pick up until Wednesday, Thursday, and then Friday morning. And we'll see from, and then, and then uh, I'll have to take a look at the economic calendar for next week and see what, what key events I really want to look into. So I know that's all I got for you guys.